Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a renovation in Oasis Springs in this house. It's a starter home. And I was really inspired to do it. I watched a YouTuber called Lil Simsy and she did one with Electronic Arts' build restrictions. So we're gonna do one of those. The main ones is that basically the max price is 11,519 simoleons and at maximum, you can only have 44 objects. Now, there's also an additional two objects for a mailbox and trash can. And then the roof pieces, if they count as objects, obviously there's two there. So that's like 48, but it's really 44. So that's your max object count. And then it has to be 11,519 or a bit less. And yeah, so you, once you work within those parameters, no cheats, base game only, and uh, on you up and up. It's pretty good. I think you are allowed to size things up and down though because that's enabled in The Sims by default. So that is not a cheat. I think it's like, you know, doing triangle tiles with control F. I think using the bracket keys to make things bigger or smaller, not a cheat. So you shout out obviously to Little Simsy for inspiring me to do this video. I love challenges and I saw her do that and I really liked how specific it was and I was like, challenge accepted. So I also had to go on this house, which is obviously known as Nookstone in Oasis Springs. To actually count the objects, I downloaded an app on my phone called Clicker, and it's legit like what they use in nightclubs. Do you know like when they have to count how many, how many people are allowed in for like health and safety reasons or for like the fire or whatever? I downloaded an app and I was like clicking and it was 44 objects, obviously. So in the build itself, we're just gonna go ahead and do the layout. I want to just, you know, reorient it. And I mean, there isn't really any rules in terms of changing the size of the house. I think I make mine a bit smaller, but I think as long as it sort of looks the same shape, you're all good. Uh, the main thing I wanted to do was give the kitchen a bit of a change in terms of its um, setup. So I like to do my trick of rather than two counters, go for two island counters and then two bar stools because I think it just adds oomph to the kitchen. And then obviously in addition, we have a small dining table. So obviously since we are like limited by the object count, it's a two seater instead of a four seater. But since you got two bar stools, you have like four seats in total. And the main other thing was I wanted to have a nice big couch. So we got a three seater and a two seater in. Unfortunately for that simple couch, there is no one seat chair. It's only a three and a two. And then once I kind of figured that out, it was really just about what windows to go for because this is kind of like a modern home. Like it's one of those flat mid-century-esque homes that you kind of see in the valley or stuff like that in America. You don't really see these houses in Ireland at all. But because of that, we had to you know, make it a bit modern and I wasn't sure. I liked the floor to ceiling windows, but there was something about it that didn't sit right with me in having them in the front of the house because they seem very intrusive. So for that reason, I kind of did my old trick of more privacy in the front and then floor to ceiling windows in the back. So you're about to see later on, but the bedroom gets like floor to ceiling windows in the back and then obviously does so does the living space. So uh, it's working out now. This is kind of the main setup. We moved the kitchen and dining around a bit, but what you're seeing is pretty good, which makes it all the more embarrassing that this took me three hours to do. Um, I don't know if you can believe it or not, but it took me three hours to do this entire build, which is crazy. It took me like about two hours 30 to do the build itself and then like another half an hour just to chat to people on Twitch and like do the screenshots and stuff. It took me quite a long time for such a small build. I probably should have only spent an hour tops, but as you can tell, all my build videos, whether they're small builds or big builds, take absolutely ages for me to do. Anyhow, I kind of wanted to separate the kitchen from the, from the living room because obviously you shouldn't really have painted walls in your kitchen. I mean, you can, there's no hard rule, but I preferred like brick or something because that kind of has a backsplash to it. So I wanted to find a way to divide the rooms and I came up with this really cool idea of using um, pillars in then crown molding or whatever that is. And uh, that I saw someone on Twitch called Pixels do that. And that person was actually in my chat. The person's name was Chorna. Yeah, Chorna. And yeah, so she inspired me to go for that. And also there was another user called Adeeb who also helped me out with, um, what did he help me out with? He helped me out with something. Mm. Oh, you're gonna see later on in a few seconds. Uh, yeah, 
well, what's it called? Yeah, so I got some great input from users on Twitch. And if you don't know already, I actually stream these builds on Twitch. But as you can tell, they go on for hours and hours. So if you don't have the patience to sit through them, you can obviously watch these really quick speed builds. And yeah, so now we're just lighting up the place. And you know, this is where I say I don't think making things smaller is against the rules because I am using those cheap children's lights. But when you size them down really small, I think they look fantastic. And like, it comes with the game without cheats enabled, so I think it's like legit on the books, you know what I'm saying? And I just kind of cornered in the dining table like that. And yeah, I think the build looks great. I, I splurged on those wood floors, that's eight simoleons of tile, which is a lot of money when you only have 11,500 to work with. But because we don't really have a lot of money for decorations, I think that red flooring just gives the, the house a bit of oomph. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. So I was trying to figure out ways to save money so I could add some extra stuff in. Like I'm very happy that I got a TV into the build and you obviously got a bookcase with that new book end. And this is where that user ID helped me out because they're like, why don't you do um, diamond shaped tiles for the kitchen? And I was like, let's do that because they're free. Because obviously if you use cement, cement costs nothing. So I saved a bit of money there, which allowed me to put some extra objects into the house, like a few extra plants and paintings. I was like, what painting should we use? Should we use one of an elephant or a bunny? But we used, you know, the cheap uh, plant painting and we just size it up and I think it looks quite nice. So yeah, I'm really, uh, I think it turned out nice. I mean, look, it's very bare, but when you only have 11,500 simoleons to work with, like, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And as I said before, it's base game only, so you can totally download this and enjoy it. It is on the gallery. My username is LC Insights IE. Uh, my username is also in the description below. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I'm actually just trying to check how far along this video is. So I'm putting a deck onto the house. I thought it would kind of beef it up a little. I know little Simsy did that too. So I'm gonna give a shout out to her because obviously I, that did come to my mind. But I actually went for like a rounded corner as you can see there and I thought it just gives the house a bit of shape because you got these very sharp edges on the roof and I thought if you kind of cornered the foundation that would look pretty nice. And I put like a nice black trim onto it. No money whatsoever left over for like um, plants or anything at the end. I, I could only afford one plant and everybody in the chat was like, this one plant sticks out, it looks weird. So we don't have any plants, you're gonna have to rely on your surrounding, you know, background world uh, plants and stuff. But you know, the house works by itself. And I think it was much more important to try and make the inside of the house look as best as it possibly can. So yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think like the main things is that like in the original EA game, like the build, it's so ugly in terms of how it's styled because I mean, even the bathroom looked really bad in the original. And this bathroom didn't cost any additional money because we use the exact same objects and the bathroom looks so much better. So you could do so much, I think, with just a bit of, you know, intuition, a bit of, you know, reorganizing and uh, you know it's putting the time in so I kind of put my final plant in which was all I could afford I think I go like to 11 4.99 so I'm just like right on the money with that and yeah I'm gonna leave it off here because we're about to come towards the end I'm gonna let you enjoy the montage in peace but if you like this build please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up and obviously leave a comment below so thank you so much for watching and enjoy these before and afters bye